everybody welcome to the channel right i posted up a video the other day that's caused uh, me a lot of flack um <laughs> about the statements that i made okay so i want to pose a question back to you guys um and not just to get a load of negative um you're a complete barn pot okay so um nikon uh d850 uh, announced out and in their statements as i said in the last video that um that it's got high resolution and uh, Nikon Rumens uh, have posted out some uh, fairly substantial sort of claims and they're usually pretty smack on the money um, that they've got a 4K um, but using the full sensor. Okay, so just going back over the last video and some of the comments that were on there um, that uh, you can't get a lens that will resolve these sorts of um, sizes. Well, no, you've got to be completely wrong. If you can get a 40 megapixel uh, camera phone, which came out in 2012 on the Nokia, uh, Carlos Zeiss worked with them for about four years to get that um, tiny little sense, um, little lens there um, to work with that. Yes, you can. It's going to be expensive to get the um, get the optics right, but it is possible to do. Um, there are medium format cameras out there which are 100 megapixels at the moment. Canon also um, a couple of years ago announced that they're working on a 120 megapixel DSLR. Obviously not going to bring these things out um, until they really have to because if they make the technology and just bring it all out right in one go, um, they're not going to make as much money. So they're going to drip feed this out. So they're, they're holding off as long as they possibly can. So technology is available, um, just the economics uh, Canon also came out with a well uh, developing a, a 250 but that may be just for more commercial not for for end use so they are pushing the boundaries of ISO levels if you look through um, a lot of the science journals that I do um, these things have been developing for the last 10 years some insane sensors out there which um, have got ISO levels which are just off the charts of what we've currently got out there at the moment so this this stuff will be around it's just how long they're going to take and the, uh, to to drip feed it out and when is it going to be commercially viable um so back five years ago the d800 came out which was 36 megapixels its nearest competitor was 20 or 21 the canon so that was uh, you know 1.6 times you know not quite double but you know a lot more than their competitors so canon have got their 50 megapixel out now there so whether Nikon allow them going to keep the uh, uh, that sort of crown or whether they're going to obliterate them with a much higher um, in in response to that Canon said that they were working on a 120 maybe they're thinking they're just going to jump it up a little bit higher potentially um, so you know it it is you know it is around so let's get to the point then anyway so I'd like your feedback on what size sensor you think it's going to be okay not just uh, you know not just running under a little bit of sort of thought behind it of what you know why you think it's going to be the sensor size that it is um nikon rumors which are, are just quite rightly said they usually smack on the money are saying that it's going to be less than 50 megapixels but they're not always right but they're usually fairly right so yeah i mean this is all sort of skeptical at the moment of what's uh, what's going to be said and the second question is <coughs> pardon me if they're going to use the um full frame sensor on 4k um how are they going to get that to 4k if they're using a sensor that's larger without a, a load of processing to scale it down um oh, i don't know so i mean maybe there's some technical buff out there that could enlighten me and maybe enlighten us all but if you use a 4k sensor then um you've got 8 megapixels 8k is 33 so the next um scale up is 132 megapixels which i think is what i said um and then you can take like you know the random sort of uh you know sensors off that so if you've ever done uh video processing on a computer you know how long it takes to scale um, something up or down or reprocess it so you're not going to be able to scale on a small camera um from one sensor size to another so they've either got a crop which they said it's not going to do they're going to take the full sensor size so that's what made me think um that's the only reason it made me really think why this is going to be such a massive sensor nothing else just purely nothing else so um if there's a way of uh, uh, achieving that and overcoming that then yeah my statement is complete bunkum fair enough and i shall lay down but um if you'd like to come back with some positive feedback uh, you know some comments and that would be nice not all just a, a load of uh, you're just talking a load of rubbish so thanks for watching uh, thanks for listening and i'd love to see your comments and um hopefully see you on the next videos um, see you again. Bye.